All right, before the video starts, I want to say sorry for my really bad English sometimes. I hope everything is understandable. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, uh, just write a, a comment under the video or DM me on Discord or Twitter or something. And yeah, you can find those files I, I will use in the video. In the description you can download this whole package and with this you can patch use uh, all almost all us roms um and of course the jp uh the vendor jp rom and the sm64 using practice rom so yeah you can for example you can uh, apply this to SM64 Sapphire if you want to. Pretty nice, but yeah. All right, um, this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to change the uh, hot and the music and the use and practice ROM for SM64. So I prepared uh, files here. So we have both patches for um the Practice ROM, one for US and one for JP. Um, then a custom, uh, a, a music track ID list to um, where the values for the the scripts are. In this, we have um, the hot element values to like. Um, so yeah, we have a list here, and we have specific values that gives a uh, give uh, specific characters all right um so we ta uh, use those values on the left side um to get specific uh, characters inside of the rom and we're gonna need those for the script so this program is checksum64 we will need that after we apply the patch, at the script, I mean, or patch, whatever you want to call it. Um, because if we don't use this program, the ROM won't start. And so we need to use this program. And we use this program here to uh, patch the script, one of those. Um, and yeah, so I prepared this ROM here. So this is a US user moon 1.91. And we are going to patch um, a custom hut now. All right. So the first thing you want to do is open this program. Um. Okay. Uh, can I change the size? Perfect. Like this. That's enough. So, um, yeah, we want to open the file. Open. We go to um, our folder. This one. Um, and then we select the ROM. So, this is kind of confusing for people who don't know uh, who who don't know uh, what this is so this is uh the whole rom inside of a hex editor but um yeah we don't need to change something in here um it's pretty pretty easy we go to this um x um vi script and press on editor so this is a white, uh, I don't know, like we have a text uh, editor in here, so we can type in here, no problem, yeah. So what we do now is we go into our folder and we go inside of, um, of one of the TXTs, uh, depending what version we want to patch, so um i'm using a us rom so i'm gonna open this one so uh we have the script in here so this is 
the interesting part. So first we take all this. You can pre uh, press Control A, A as well, but I'm doing that like this. So we play uh, paste the script in here, and now we have some options here. So we have um um yeah. This is uh this patch was written by me. So yeah, we have um different ha different headlines and what we do here is looking for the headlines we want to change for example i want to change the uh i don't know i i want to place my name where the mario head and the life count is so what we do now is we go in here and uh, we need to change those values here. All right. So what we do now is go. Uh, we go back to our folder, open this picture here. I took from the um, SM64 Game Shark Google side, and we look for our values we want to use. So, for example, I want to. Uh, I want to let my my Mario life count or the the Mario head symbol um say oh uh, for example um uh, okay we take a uh, pro for example so we take um we need to look for the values we need to use so if I want pro, I take the 50. Oh, we go back in here. So we need to edit those values here. So we take the 50. Then we need for the R, we need 52. Um. And O is, where is O? For F. Go back. For F. So, now the Mario head is edited and it will now say Pro instead of the Mario head. So Mario head is, is Wenish now, basically, or edited rather. So, um now we can put more characters um but it's kind of hard so i rec recommend uh just using four letters for this because the Yusemun rom has some um limitations we can't move the text we put in the mario thing in the mario section mario live section uh we can't uh move the single components so yeah that's kind of hard um so what we do now is we have three letters the zero means nothing obviously so there won't be any other letter there so this is the cross icon right next to the mario head so we are gonna take this and write zero zero so and we do the same uh, for uh, the counter because we don't need the live counter. Um, all right. So now the Mario section with the lives will say pro and nothing more. So the X is away. Um, the, the, the cross icon, I mean. Uh, the counter is away now. And it will just say pro there. All right. So, um, yeah, we can now do the same with the stars. We can do everything we want. Um, but uh, the the um, speed meter and the um, lag counter won't work if you edit uh, the counter. Um, 
for each of those. So if you change the counter for the Mario lives, it won't work as a speed meter or lag counter. And the same will, uh, would be for the uh, for the star icon. So yeah. So now uh, the next interesting thing would be the music for certain music to play. So this one is pretty easy. What we do here is just edit those two values here. So we are gonna go into our folder again and we open this txt and now I made a list um, with all the tracks. So there's, uh, this is kind of complicated if you play on JP because some tracks will give you um, the sound glitch. I don't know when that happens, um, but it happens sometimes, so it's pretty unstable. So I rec recommend um, um, just using the vanilla sound <coughs> for the JP version or just uh, turn on the no music uh, setting inside of the Yusemuna practice uh, menu thing. So yeah, you have different values as well. So for example, I want to listen to, uh, I don't know, um, I want to listen to the JRB music all the time. All right, so we take the 05. It's pretty really important that you type 05. So we go back in our script. So this would be lullaby. So 05. Don't change this part of the code. Um, just this to change the music. If you want to um, have vanilla sound, you can uh, either um, delete all this from the script or just um, take the values that are given in the uh, JP script. It's in the headline of the JP script. All right, so we change our music here with the 0, 05. Um, now we have some more options with the coin um, coin section in the HUD. So we can change the coin symbol or icon, I don't know, uh, the, coin, uh, the coin icon, the uh, cross and the counter of the coin. We can move all those parts. So we have uh, a lot of options here. All right. So we have the modifier for the X position of the coin icon. So um, that that part is pretty hard. Or no, it's not hard, but it, it takes some time to get the right values here. So those values are default values. Those are not changed. So if you leave this as it is, you won't change the positions of the um, of the icons or symbols. It will be default. So if you want to um, test out how it looks, how the different uh, position positions look, so you go into your uh, Project sixty four emulator or something. Yeah. That's the easiest method. You go in inside of your uh, Project 64 emulator. You load your US ROM. Would be the best if you load a uh, Moon ROM. Um, then you go to the SM64 GameShark Practice Google site and go to HUD modifications. And you take the, um, the code that can move or the codes that can move um, the coin, the coin symbols. And those values that you use with the sheet, sheet code are the same as uh, this code uses, this script uses. So, yeah. Um, 
I hope that makes sense. So you can use the same values here. So you change those values to move the hut. D1 is the height and this one is the X. So left and right. X will move left and right and uh, Y will move down and up. Makes sense, right? All right, so what we do now, we changed our script here for the US version. And what you do now is you press on execute. This will execute the script and will place um, the values inside of the hexadecimal um, code. So we, we press on execute, then it will load and done. So what we do now is go back to the script thing. We, pr uh, we click on close and script modified save save now to file. Uh, you press no. And now we go to the program and press save as. So um, now we type some name. It's not important. So I will just name it um, test. But the important thing is you need to um, um, call uh, name it um, dot z64. That's important. All right. So now you click on save. And now you have your changed usermono ROM. So, but it's not, it's not, we are not done yet. Um, wait, yeah, this is our ROM, um, with the Z64, 8 MB, and what we do now is we just drag and drop inside the checksum64 uh, program, and we're done. So what we do now is we go inside our um inside of our uh, our um um emulator and test the rom before we put it on our everdrive for example so we open the test rom and we have no sound oh we have sound okay so now the music should play And the hut says pro. And yeah. And we now we can do all the practice things we want to do. Yep. All right. If you have any questions, um, you can you can send uh, DM me on Discord, for example, or just. Um, comment it under this video here. Um, and yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, and have fun modifying you some Moon ROM. Alright. Bye.